Bismillah rahman rahim 8.33 a.m. Exactly news and views right here on Salam Media. We are broadcasting from the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in Santon. We're going to be covering that event in a short while. And another event, a major event that we do need to talk about this morning as well, is the much-anticipated Minara Chamber of Commerce Business Awards 2022, Alhamdulillah, which is happening tonight in KZN. And to talk to us about this amazing event, and we already know who the shortlisted candidates are, uh, we'll just have our guest, uh, the Vice President of Minara Chamber of Commerce, Fawzia Peer, to give us a heads up of uh, the awards and the amazing gala dinner tonight. Fawzia, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the program. Wa alaikum salam. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to Nasreen and the listeners out there. Um, I want to thank Salam Media as our media portal for having us covered for this special Minara Chamber of Commerce Business Awards tonight. We have received so many calls for uh, after these um, um, interviews that our tables are all sold now. Alhamdulillah, I wish I could have been joining you guys tonight, but it's not possible. But I do know right after this interview today at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, our team are making their way to uh, Durban to cover the Minara Chamber of Com Commerce Business Awards. I do know it's going to be an amazing evening with the most amazing shortlist finalists, but also um, guest speaker being Zunaid Bubulia. Uh, what else can you share with us? about the event tonight yes i must tell you <clears throat> we are now in the final countdown of uh, our event tonight at the coastline on ridge road and at 6 30 it's meet and greet 7 p.m sharp we are going to start the minara awards i think it's in the 12th year now the pandemic was a giant distraction i must say for all of us and curtailed our events during COVID. But we all are back on tra track, alhamdulillah. The Minara Recognition Awards will be glittering gallery of awardees in various categories tonight. We are so, so excited. Lots of interactions amongst business people will take place, engaging and sharing of business cards now, out of 40 nominees, the judges shortlisted 19 participant, uh, participants, and they're comprising of about six of different categories according to their achievements. I must say all of them play a crucial role in the economy of our city. The idea and vision behind the awards from the outset is to identify and um, you know, to make sure that uh, Minara Chamber uh, recognizes the best performing ach achiever in this specific category. Now, you know, when we say we recognize them, um, we recognize also the fact that it's a tireless journey, hard work, growing businesses, celebrating their strengths, their vision, their resilience, outstanding events, and of course, a vision of small business entrepreneurs, <clears throat> the professional and the community builders' success, especially in today's challenging economic environment. So we're very proud of them, I must say. Each one of them, um, you know, in each category have really, uh, their profiles were fantastic. Now, if you want me in a screen to go through uh, some of the categories, uh, I, I would do so. Um, I must say, I always start with the women's achiever category. Now, here we must, you know, we must make sure Minara always um, wants to promote the positive impact of our fully talented, tenacious, and dedicated women entrepreneurs who not only run successful businesses, but in many cases also juggle the needs of their family. Alhamdulillah, that is fantastic. And hats up for them. 
Now this is Rosia, Rosia, can I interrupt you there? Can you hear me? Yes, very well. All right. Can I? We've got two minutes to wrap up. Uh, sadly, we won't be able to share the names of all the amazing men and women that have been recognized by Minara Chamber of Commerce. What I would like to ask um, is just the fact that you've been recognized enough to be a participant on the Business uh, Chamber's uh, awards, even if you don't bag the first prize, I should imagine just being part of this amazing event definitely puts you and your business um, on the next level, does it not? The, the very fact that there are uh, uh, some kind of achievers in this specific category, you know, they are recognized. You know, the whole tenacity to communicate, to admire their persistence and their strong ethos of the work that they're doing, you know, in their business field, we find it very effective because it's specific in how um, and, and it also helps to validate them as a role model. Now, running your own business, starting from being small to a well-established business, it's a significant achievement. And those that will not win, I must say, we still find them to be the most, uh, uh, um, you know, sought of after, you know, whatever they have uh, spoken to in, in the interviews. Um, we endorse their success in business. And, you know, there's accolades for their achievements. And it doesn't matter if you don't win. All are not winners. Uh, but at least you know, they were showcased. And, you know, this collaboration brings validation to the business participation. So, um, participants, sorry. And uh, I must say, we are very, very thankful to all of them to take the time and to, to go on to interviews. And uh, we, 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 you know, we must say that Minara Chamber uh, will always acknowledge them, no matter what. Fauzia, unfortunately, that's where we have to leave it. Have a wonderful bumper uh, business awards tonight. Undoubtedly, it's going to be awesome. Uh, good luck to all of the participants, and we look forward to uh, interviewing the winner and the participants in the coming week. Go well, and assalamu alaikum to you. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you very much for having us.